7.5 Applied Properties of Logs I suppose the question is, can you relate? Or do you have no clue what this comic is talking about? Let's start off by learning some of the properties of logarithms. The product property says, log base b of m times n is equal to log base b of m plus log base b of n. Now you might remember that exponentials and logarithms are inverses of one another and recall that b to the m times b to the n was equal to b to the m plus n, same basis, I added the exponents, and so since they're inverses, this should make some sense. I'm not going to prove it today. Similarly, in the next one, remember that b to the m over b to the n was b to the m minus n, same basis, subtract the exponents, while our quotient property for logarithms is log base b of m divided by n is equal to log base b of m minus log base b of n. Finally, the power property says log base b of m to the n power is equal to n times log base b of m. Please note that I'm doing log base b of this whole m times n, and I'm doing log base b of m divided by n. Log, remember, is a function, so it's log base b of something. It's not log base b times something, and that's very important. In example one, they only tell us two things. They tell us what log base three of 12 is and what log base three of two is. And they want us to use that to evaluate these problems here without using our calculator. So we have to think to ourselves, how can we use these facts to figure out log base three? Of well, we might think to ourselves that six is 12 divided by two. In other words, log base three of six is equal to log base three of 12 minus log base three of two using the quotient property of logarithms that we just learned about. And so we just have 2.262 minus 0.631. In other words, 1.631. Log base three of 24, hopefully you're thinking to yourself, ah, 24 is 12 times two. So we have log base three of 12 plus log base three of two. In other words, 2.262 plus 0.631, which gives us 2.893. Part C, oops, I wrote the same problem twice. Uh, so let's go to the next one, log base three of 32. Hmm, well, the thing I can think of here is maybe that two to the fifth power is equal to 32. So that is just five times log base three of two. In other words, five times 0.631 or 3.155. This problem is asking us to expand log base seven of 3x squared over 5y cubed. So let's just use all of the properties that we've just learned. Let's first use the quotient. So we do log base seven of 3x squared minus log base seven of 5y cubed. Now be very careful here. Log base seven of 3x squared is not equal to two times log base seven of three x. No way. The reason is because it's not log base seven of three x, the quantity squared. This is equal to two times log base seven of three x. This is true, but that's not what they're asking me in this problem. So what I'm required to do here is separate it out into log base seven of three plus log base seven of x squared. Use that product property there. And then I'm going to switch colors to do this part. So I have log base seven of five 
plus log base 7 of y cubed. Don't forget to put your parentheses here because you must distribute that negative sign. So now I'm just going to distribute that negative sign out. Minus log base 7 of 5 minus log base 7 of y cubed. So let's just rewrite log base 7 of 3 plus you see now that we've isolated something squared, now I can do 2 log base 7 of x minus log base 7 of 5 minus, this is the whole y is being cubed, so I have 3 log base 7 of y. In this problem, they just asked us to expand it all out, and so that is what I've done. I don't want to go and put it back together, otherwise I'll get back to my original problem. So this is expanding it out as far as I can. Please note the difference right here. This is really, really important. Now we want to do the opposite of what we did in the last problem where they asked me to expand it. Now I want to condense it. I'm going to start by just rewriting the problem. And the ln rules are the same as the log rules because remember ln is just log base e. So I'm first going to look at this and say, well, that's ln of 5 squared. So I have ln 8 plus ln 5 squared minus ln 10. ln 8 plus ln 25 minus ln 10. So since I'm adding these two, I can have ln 8 times 25 minus ln 10. In other words, ln of 200 minus ln 10. And so since we have a subtraction, we can just ln of 200 divided by 10, which is just ln 20. So that's how we condense the expression. The change of base formula is a really, really important one, especially when we want to start using our calculators to solve some of these things. So log base C of A is log of a over log c. I remember that c is the base and so it's in the bottom. c is the base and it's in the bottom. I can also write ln a over ln c if you would like. Just make sure that the logs have the same bases on the top and the bottom, and here ln, those are logs with the same bases on the top and the bottom. In fact, you could have log base any b of a over log base any b of c, just so the bases are the same again. But usually we just think of it like this or like this. Now it says to evaluate log base 6 of 24 using common logarithms and natural logarithms. We are going to use our calculator for this, but we're thinking that we should get the same answer, right? Because I just showed right here that log of a over log of c is equal to ln a over ln c. So um, anyway, I'm assuming that I'm only going to get one answer for the same problem, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense. So let's just prove that to ourselves. Let's first do common logarithms, otherwise known as log base 10. When you don't write anything, remember it's log base 10. And that's what our calculator key is. So we're going to do that in a second. And then let's do it with natural logarithms, which are ln's. And hopefully we'll get the same answer. So let's go to our calculator. So the first thing I'm going to do is log 24, close your parentheses, over log 6 equals. And then I'm going to do ln 24 over ln 6. Boom, we get the same answer there. And we got 1.7737 for both of them. And that's it for this lesson. Bye.